now, I would have to lean towards South Carolina. Uh, as long as Garcia can reasonably keep his head in the game and not do something stupid, go out and get in trouble, and maybe finally, you know, actually get this miss from the team. Well, the thing about it, I still think Connor Shaw is a better quarterback, for, but for whatever reason, Steve Spurrier wants to give Garcia uh, into the third chance, fourth chance. Fifth, sixth, I don't know. He's been in, you know, several different incidents throughout his time there in South Carolina. Uh, Shaw, I think, has better abilities, but he's not really played and not really been tested the way Garcia has to this point. And, you know, if you're a team like South Carolina that's trying to stake your claim and build yourself up into the East and get to the level where you're going to be there every year with Florida, Tennessee will be back at some point. Uh, Rick is in, you know, the hot seat here in Georgia. He's got to get something done this year or he's probably out. And so South Carolina, this is a big season for them to try to sustain off that Eastern Championship last year. Well, I guess we both agree that Florida is definitely in the transition year, and I don't think this is the first time in a long time. I don't think anybody will have them winning the East in the preseason ballot. There's probably some people that will pick it because Florida still has Florida talent. Uh, you know, Brantley's in a more comfortable offense this year, going away from the spread back to the pro style, but they don't have a lot of receiver depth as far as you know, quality receivers last year, they struggled offensively. They never really had what you would call a great passing game. So there's some question marks there. If Florida puts it together, I think they can win the East simply because they have that kind of talent. But a lot of work to be done with the new staff. And, of course, Charlie Wise, who's a kind of a quarterback guru, coming in there to, to work on that offense. Well, I guess two more teams to touch on, Tennessee and Auburn. First, Tennessee, year two of uh, Derek Dooley. Still, it's kind of strange to see a Dooley coach in Tennessee, but it is what it is, as Nick Saban always says. Um, he's getting the recruits in, not two recruiting classes so far. Do you, do you think he's turning the corner? Or, uh, he's getting definitely has a fair, favorable uh, non-conference schedule. It's a possibility he could be Florida and Georgia and be undefeated going into the Bama game. But, of course, after Bama, you have like, the likes of Arkansas, LSU, you know, uh, Herman Lathers, their middle linebacker, broke his ankle, had to have surgery. 